Hey everyone, this is Ant from the Referee Forum. This is a video which I'm sure you will like. The debate on what referees should use uh, in terms of what's best for the match administration has been rattling on for ages. You've got the notebook, you've got uh, apps that you can use on smartwatches, uh, and you've also got write on cards. Now, um, you may have heard of them, you may not. If you haven't, you will have done by the end of this video. Um, RefereePOV.com, um, I first heard of on, on TikTok. Um, lots of refereeing insights uh, based in the United States. Um, and uh, they reached out to me a couple of weeks ago and said, we've, we've uh, designed some write on cards. Would you mind if we send you them? Have a little look, tell us what you think. And uh, if you like them, tell the world. Now, I've not actually gotten to that point yet because what I do have is... Just gotta cover my address there just in case anyone zooms in and tries to stalk me and whatnot. But they've sent me this uh, all the way from uh, Cyprus in Texas, which is confusing because Cyprus is in the Mediterranean or the Aegean or half and half. I don't know, I get confused easily about geography, but uh, this has definitely come from the United States and uh, knowing that's the only thing that I'm expecting from the United States, it's got to be these write on cards that referee POV have, um, have sent over. So let's pop it open, have a little look. There's your first uh, big thumbs up there, referee POV. Everything came and arrived in one piece like you probably expected to, packaging it like that. Now let's switch to the handheld cam so we can get a little bit of a closer look on these uh, these cards. So straight away, we've got a little bit of information there. Wipe away cards, how to use your wipe away cards. One, use any permanent marker to write on the cards. Uh, and two, to wipe off the cards, you can use any standard bottle of bug spray along with a cloth, simply spray the cards or wipe them. Now I've used, um, uh, write on cards before. Uh, full disclosure, didn't get on with them, didn't like them. They, everything seemed to be just so cramped and condensed and um, I, I didn't like carrying a, a, a marker pen around with me as well. That, that didn't work for me. So, but I'm coming into this, uh, you know, open mind, fresh approach. That was a long time ago that I used the write on cards. Um, they've also sent me this, uh, this little letter it says to Ant with this little stick. Oh, look at that. Referee with comms there. I hope that that referee is of a certain level. Otherwise, they shouldn't be wearing comms. They'd get in a lot of trouble with uh, with the, the blazers and the anoraks for doing that. We are so happy to be able to send you our new wipe away cards. I'm happy too. Uh, we, we are thankful for everything that you've done for referees from grassroots right the way through to FIFA level. Um, okay. Seriously, everything that you do, we know, comes from a good place. You're a good man and you've improved the lives of so many countless referees. I had no idea it would, it would say any of this. It doesn't, I made that bit up. <laughs> but it's believable, because I do do that though, right? Uh, here's what it actually says. We've devoted a ton of time into creating what we hope are the best referee cards out there. We are happy to be able to share them with a fellow influencer in the referee community and would love to hear your feedback. Well, you will. We wish you all the best and continued success going forward. Thanks, Brian. Same. Same, Brian. The thing is, as referees, we are in a very tough niche because, first of all, referees are a hated breed anyway, just by people's default. There's a lot of referees, uh, and I don't know if it comes from a place of insecurity or, or what, but they will look to pull down other referees. I don't know if it's, if it's an insecurity thing or it's a jealousy thing or what, but I, I mean, I guarantee if you've been refereeing a, a season, two seasons at the least, you will have seen this as well. And it's absolutely heartbreaking considering... Oh, baby. 
he's just woke up. Uh, c considering, you know, we we're all trying to just do the best we can, it's it's tough when your fellow officials are uh, are doing that to you. But hey, it is what it is, unfortunately. And we say that it is what it is, just maintain the status quo, but really, it shouldn't be happening. Anyway, back to these cards. Let's crack them out of their, their packaging. Now, obviously, I can't give you a full match experience of these because I'm just sat at a desk having a look at them. Um, but, you pop them on the desk here. They're both the same, the red and the yellow. They've got space for home, away, the color of the jersey, the captain, goals, player, time, cautions. There we go. So what I'll do is uh, I'll wrap up that video here. Th this is, you know, I give you some first impressions on them. What's on the back? Nothing. So the backs are just plain, just plain backs. So this one's just woken up from her nap and she is grumpy. But let's ask a baby what she thinks about these right on cards. Easy to hold? Is it easy to hold? You need to send off one of the naughty players? Well, it passes the test for grippability. <laughs> right, it's been several weeks since that first video, uh, and I might actually get a chance to finish off this review. <laughs> no baby, she's at the sitters. Um, wipe away cards, red and yellow. So let's talk about these a little bit. I've had a chance to, to actually go out there. Uh, and use them. They're a bit bulky for my liking. Um, they... Let's get a ruler. I'll tell you exactly how big they are. Now, because these were made by Americans, they probably did everything in inches. But we're we're British here, so I'm going to tell you that it's... Uh, 9 centimetres across. 13.4 centimetres long uh, in millimetres. Uh, 100 and 34 mil by 90 mil. So a bit bit on the big side. Um, you know, I'm wearing a pair of Umbro shorts right now. I'm not bragging or anything, but I am. And if I pop this in my pocket, sure, it sits in there all right, but uh, it's, just, it's just a bit girthy. But I suppose it has to be because there's a lot of information that you potentially will need to put on there. Now, as with all right on cards, you will need to provide something to right on them with. For me, it's got to be a Sharpie. Um, why? They will write on anything and everything. And uh, it's a fine tip. So you can record the information nice and easy. So goals. Here, let's zoom in. Focus. There we are. So there's what we've got on the wipe away cards. Um, there's all the information, a little bit of branding at the bottom there. That's where you can purchase those cards from. Um, on the yellow card, you've got space to write your goals, your goal scorers. So that captain scored on the 13th minute. You've made a little note of it there. Nice space to record that sort of information. Um, and then cautions, okay, number three, you made a nasty tackle on the 19th minute and it was a C1, it was a, just a foul tackle. So there's space to record those things there, look at that. That's a C1 under reason there. The red card has exactly the same information as the yellow card in terms of it's a carbon copy. You've got all of the same things there. What I'd like to see on your red card is instead of cautions, obviously it could say sendings off. That's not a huge thing, but up here, you've got all this space for things like penalty shootouts. Now, I, I do like a good notebook that has the, the penalty shootout uh, table on it. 
Uh, also, of course, you've got the back sides of these. Okay, if you want to be pedantic and say there's loads of space, you can write on those as well. Um, but in terms of write on cards, they're decent. They'll get the job done. Maybe you used the type of write on card before. I'd say these are comparable to anything that's on the market at the moment. Uh, what's the price point? Well, let's get ourselves onto referepov.com. Uh, so the set is $8, $8 for these two, which is good value, it's about a fiver in, in, uh, in the Queen's money. Uh, or you can get a Fox 40 whistle with a cushion mouth guard uh, included with those two cards for $10.99, uh, which in the Queen's money is about eight quid. Maybe, maybe slightly more, I don't know. I haven't got a converter to hand, I'm just kind of guessing at that. Or if you want to buy just one card by itself, although why you'd want to do that and not get the set, I have no idea. But they're, uh, they're for $4.99 each. So there we go, wipe away cards. Um, these haven't converted me on to, uh, to using them full time, but they are a decent set of cards if you do like the, the, the style of match recording. Um, but it's it's not for me. Decent cards, decent enough, good price point, I think that's fair to say. Um, and it, even if you don't get these cards, if you're not interested, fine, that's not a problem. But check out referepov.com uh, and on their socials as well. Thanks very much for sending these to me to have a little look at. And um, if anyone else wants to send me some free stuff, I'm more than happy to take it as he bangs his elbow onto the desk. Smooth. Uh, don't forget to check out the refereeforum.com for this review and reviews of other things as well as documentaries, memes, podcasts, all that fun stuff. Uh, right now, thanks for watching, and um, I have a baby to pick up very soon, so I should probably get out of here. All right, stop watching now. Get out of here. Go. <laughs>